Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to make this pouch using the mochila technique. I improvised from a free mochila bag pattern by Daria Shi. Mochila technique is basically all single crochet through the back loop only while carrying some yarns. This is part one of the tutorial which will include the first four bottom rows of the pouch. But the whole tutorial will include making the body, the kumihimo wristlet, and how to attach it to the pouch. I'll be using Ice Yarns Camilla Cotton A skin weighs 50 grams per 125 meters. These are mercerized cotton yarns and are highly recommended for this kind of project. If you decide to use thinner or thicker yarns, the size and quality of your pouch will vary. So I'll be using four colors, purple, light green, yellow, and lilac. I have two skins of lilac. I want to carry four yarns to add to the thickness of the pouch. But you can carry three if you like. I'll use my 2mm clover hook, a stitch marker, and the measuring tape. So if you are ready, let's start. I will use my purple yarn to begin. Make a slip knot. Then make a total of 81 chains. Try to make your chains as small as possible. It's better if you make your chains tight. So you won't see small holes at the bottom of the pouch when you're done. Done with my 81 chains, and to start our first round, make another chain. Then insert your hook into the top loop of the second chain from the hook. Grab two carry yarns. You may pick any color of the carry yarns. Then place them, place them over your hook. Yarn over, pull, then yarn over, pull through both loops. Okay, next chain, insert hook, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two loops. And make another. Okay. Uh, mark the very first single crochet you did with a stitch marker. Insert it into the back loop. Okay. Then make a total of 81 single crochet up to the last chain with the two carry yarns. Crocheting while carrying yarns will need a lot of fixing every now and then. Let's take a look at the back of our work. Pull the carry yarns to compress the stitches to hide the yarns, the carry yarns. Try to make your stitches as even as possible. You can do it with practice. Now continue making a total of 81 single crochet all the way across. Here's another pouch I made recently. I want to show you the size of my single crochet stitches. It's important for you to know the size of your single crochet because uh, it will really help make the sides of your pouch straight if you need to make swatches just to see. My, my four stitches, one, two, three, four, measure one centimeter. So, 
if I have 81 stitches, 81 divided by 4, so my 81 stitches should be 20.25 centimeters long. Going back to my 81 stitches, I need to know how long it turned out. It should be 20.25 or 20 centimeters. It's 22 centimeters. So I will pull the carry yarns gently to compress the stitches and even them out. Measure it again. Twenty one centimeters. So it needs a little bit more pulling of the carry yarns. Then massage. Measure one more time. Now it's 20. Okay, let's do the corner. Make three single crochet over the carry yarns only. Just the carry yarns. Include the end tail if you like. So that's one, two, This will be one of the two corners of the pouch. Okay. okay. Let's work on the other side. Insert hook into the first chain of this side. It should be the one opposite to the single crochet on the other side. Make at least three stitches and then we can check and fix the corner. Okay, look at the back. If you need to pull some yarns, to make a good shape of the corner then continue making the single crochet stitches most crocheters do this their single crochet like yarn over pull and then yarn over pull through both rows um, in a while I'll shift to uh, the yarn over yarn under single crochet I do my second pulling yarn under I'm more comfortable with yarn over, yarn under, single crochet. Okay. From here onwards, I'll do my single crochet like this. I'll insert hook, then yarn over, pull, and then yarn under, pull through both loops. You can always continue with yarn over and yarn over if that's what you are used to. Okay, I'll check again. I'll make sure the shape of my corner is nice. Pull some yarns and massage the stitches. There. Then continue making the rest of the 81 stitches up to the last chain. A 
at this point I want to cut this tail end so I will not be bothered by tail ends as I crochet also this tail ends and also this tail ends I'll measure it again to check if it's still around 20 centimeters after the first round. That's 20.5 centimeters. There's an extra half centimeter because of this corner here. There. Now let's make the other corner. Do three single crochet over the carry yarns only. This will complete the first round with a total of 168 stitches. 3 stitches on each corner and 81 on both sides. We are not color, color changing yet. Round 2 will also be in purple. We can take this stitch marker out. Then we insert our hook into that stitch and make a single crochet with the carry yarns. From here onwards, we will make one single crochet on every stitch of the previous round through the back loop only. I'll do another stitch. Oops. And get a stitch marker and mark This stitch, the middle stitch of these three corner stitches. One, two, three. The one in the middle. Insert it into the back loop. Now that will be the last stitch of my first round. And all of the next 31 rounds. Uh, 32 rounds. Okay. Now we can add the other two carry yarns. At this point, your stitches will be a bit taller because we're creating more yarns. Um, instead of 
uh, cutting the tail end slender. Uh, you can just pull them now, one at a time, until the tail ends disappear. One at a time. Like this. There you go. There. Continue making the rest of the stitches up to the next corner. Okay. Make sure to check the back of your work every now and then if it will require some pulling of the carry yarns. I'm getting to that corner making single crochet stitches on that corner will be a bit harder because it will start to cup but just let it cup on its own but before you continue make sure your stitch count is right 168 stitches we won't like it if after doing the corner nicely and then you have to rip it off because you have one stitch extra. Okay, I'm working on the corner now. carry yarns gently and it's starting to cut stitch then turn it upside down okay and start working on it make it make some stitches like this stitches then we can we can check the corner okay, I can now see which color I need to pull more I think it's better yes it's better so continue making the rest of the stitches up to the marked stitch, the one with the stitch marker. Okay, look at the back of your work once in a while if you need to pull some carry yarns. We're almost done with round two. 
and take this stitch marker this this will be the last stitch of this round we're about to start color changing uh, the first stitch of the next round is going to be in color lilac for round three okay, my last stitch for this round would still be in purple so to make the color change insert hope into the next stitch yarn over then hold pick up the lilac yarn it is better if you will grab the yarn from the skin to avoid tangling of the yarns then complete the stitch by pulling the lilac yarn there then pull the purple yarn gently to fix the shape of that stitch that stitch would which you need to mark later with a stitch marker then single crochet with lilac Just be more careful in doing the corners. This is still a corner. Then upside down, then pull. Rounds three and four will be all in lilac. Okay, is it good? Good. If it's good, continue making the rest of the stitches for the next two rounds in lilac. There, it's nice. I did a third and fourth round all in color lilac. So you see how my first four rounds look like. This part of the tutorial is supposed to be the hardest in making the pouch. Mochila Technique really takes practice to master. Okay, this is the end of part one. Part two will start from round five onwards. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy to enjoy more free tutorials by me. Thanks again.